at my firm, the Rose, we are we facilitate uh, innovators and growth companies in a broader sense from a legal perspective. Uh, and I work with crypto and crypto regulations on a daily basis. Uh, so here to uh, shed some more light on uh, recent de uh, developments. So our company is extremely bullish about cryptocurrencies, tokens, and especially on tokenized real-world assets. We really believe that real-world assets like government bonds, uh, company bonds, all these types of different types of uh, real-world assets will be put on the blockchain because using a blockchain makes it a lot more efficient for trading. Um, so our company is working actively in this space. We have a platform for uh, where people can buy, sell, uh, behold, uh, crypto assets, um, stable coins, real world assets. I would not have started this company if I would not believe in, uh, in the future of tokenization and crypto. Yeah, so basically um, e-commerce brands have used blockchain so far to issue NFTs. And uh, this has worked quite well with some brands. We have you know, a few cases where a company also um, sold millions. Of, of dollars of NFTs. Problems with that, one is obviously you know speculation uh, with the bear market and that there wasn't really um, a value associated of the brand to, to the NFTs. What we're doing with Hypeel is that we're bringing blockchain and the technology as a backend uh, in order to allow basically uh, loyalty benefits to be certified for brands and, uh, and traded across the customers. So yeah, let's say you know basically we're using blockchain as an evolution of uh, how brands have approached uh, crypto uh, in the past uh, two years. Kumo is all about how we can use decentralized ledger technology to improve and revolutionize climate finance. We have carbon markets, renewable energy markets that are existing off chain, and DeFi or tokenization provides them with the capabilities to increase transparency, trigger more liquidity, and to build the next generation of financial products on top of them. So we use tokenized digital assets from the environment of the market to then provide working capital solutions for um, project developers, commodity traders, and companies participating in the voluntary carbon market to be more capital efficient and to faster transition to net zero. <laughs> So our position on tokenizing, you know, we've been around uh, since 2021. Uh, so we've been to a couple of market phases. Um, we started out as a tokenization service for uh, various other organizations to launch their token uh, and discovered that this is more complicated than it sounds, uh, mostly due to legal, uh, regulatory reasons, business uh, reasons, not technical ones. Um, so we've been to various phases of product market fit ourselves. Uh, and now we are focusing on uh, tokenization within gaming and we feel we have much better early traction there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so looking forward to the event today and to speak with some like-minded people about uh, crypto tokens and upcoming uh, crypto regulation here in Europe. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, we have had uh, well, already building a lot of uh, a lot of connections. So after after the meeting, um, it's easy to talk to people. People are inside the same space. Um, already ideas being shared, um, LinkedIn's being shared. <laughs> that is really helpful for for startup like us. I think uh, you know the the great thing about what we're doing, which is being part of this acceleration with uh, Ebi Amro and Techstars, is that we are bringing together the world of traditional finance to crypto, and in our specific case, also the world of brands and e-commerce. And at the end of the day, yeah, everything comes together. So you need to get perspective from different people with different background, and that's why I think this is a great opportunity to yeah get that from different members of. Uh, Holland, uh, we are very excited at Kumo to present our novel climate finance solution to the broader ecosystem and how we can also utilize these ecosystems to actually inform uh, companies and corporates and also maybe governments um, in order to um, actually understand what is possible with the power of technology and how actually something pressing as climate action or climate change can be addressed with a novel financial solution 
and now it's all about building these bridges and under, uh, preparing the understanding on both sides of the equation to uh, also prepare the right regulatory environment for innovation to take place but obviously also safeguarding investors and making sure that they actually know the environment in which they invest and that not one year you have a certain set of rules and then it dramatically changes. So how can Europe actually use Mika and um, other uh, regulation in order to promote innovation and uh, actually create that sandbox and not have like a situation that we see in the US. Um, yeah, so I'm really eager to update my network about this here today. Uh, talk to the tech store people, which we, you know, we've been in Accelerator uh, last year. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, been really busy and uh, happy to inform everybody about our progress.